had to redo these floors because I had a water leak. And I had previously bought flooring from number liquidators. Janice Crawford couldn't believe it when she saw on WREG this beautiful wood laminate floor throughout her house could be poisonous. It's exactly the same thing. She still has the box to prove it. Crawford said immediately she started asking questions, calling the company, trying to figure out what to do. Lumber liquidators provided Crawford with an air sample test to check for dangerous amounts of formaldehyde. She just got the test results back this week. They came back within the legal limits, but she's still skeptical. Because one room was like 0.039, the other 0.029, I just don't really think that those are really good accurate readings. Lumber Liquidators has sent thousands of air reading kits to customers since March. They claim more than 97% fall in the World Health Organization's guidelines. No one would speak to us at the store's Cordova location today and directed us to corporate. Crawford has been in touch with another customer with the same problem. He sent a sample of his wood to a private company to test for the formaldehyde. Crawford says she's waiting to hear about those results to see if there's a potential lawsuit in the future. I'm waiting to see what the results are from that. And then I'll know where to go from there. Reporting in Raleigh, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.